Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one, two, three. Mm. Hello, everybody. This is boring programming stream, I think, number seven. I will stream for, I think, around three hours. And I have several things to do. I need to first handle just what the standard stuff like changing Twitch description. Hello, Mislav. Hello, Trashov. Mm. Let's maybe hide it for now. Uh, yeah, this one is better. As usually, I'm opening my on my laptop on a site Twitch and YouTube chat. Uh, I mean streams and I think we're good to go uh, I had a document for how was it called streaming yeah streaming my last stream uh, not counting the yesterday was like a month ago or so I was so busy I was also in Dublin on Google Hashcode we got the fourth place very close to being third or second I wanted to do a video about it still didn't mm. YouTube versus Twitch versus both yeah I thought about uh, not doing Twitch at all or not doing YouTube at all but I think I will stick to both Hello Shroud, welcome back. Mm, so plan for today. Mm, today. What will we do today? Uh, of course, Twitch description. That's the first thing I had somewhere different things to do first before stream checklist ping before lecture doesn't matter I did that yesterday log out for Facebook the microphone is on I hope so yeah okay uh, Twitch description mm. YouTube channel link description and so on I'm streaming I have two YouTube channels now, Erich and Erich Tattoo. The second one is for streaming. And I, I only yesterday changed the profile photo. Mm. Editorial for Robo Marathon problem. Finish problems from uh, PSUT coding stream. Uh, I saw your team in the Code and Price Distribution Ceremony. Okay, hi. Hey. Uh, yeah, but you would saw us for a bit longer if we did if we did top three. I saw your team in Hashcode Price Distribution Ceremony. Yeah. Hello, Richter. Hello, Gio. Gio. What else I wanted to do? I planned also checking out a coding game. Uh, new coding game game but it starts only at like 6 p.m. for me which is mm, what four hours from, from now and I didn't I don't have so much time I need to finish before that so maybe tomorrow uh, that is crossed uh, what else mm, maybe uh, cleaning this document as usual This is some plan for day. Okay, adding timestamps to uh, uh, that coding stream, and that is quite important. So let's put that somewhere at the top. Mm. Okay, let's start with Twitch. If you don't know, if you are new, 
I have Twitch channel, I have, I have YouTube channel. Mm, Twitch is better in terms of finding new people because YouTube isn't so good with streams. Mm. I think like two, maybe twice or three times in my life, I saw YouTube proposing me some stream to watch. YouTube is about videos. Let's edit the name. Programming, uh, how to call it? Programming stream. VPS seven. I'll go programming stream. VPS stands for boring programming stream. If you don't know that. About the stream, I had some. Diff I will copy the description from YouTube video. Oh, uh, here we go. And YouTube link is here. Save, save. The name didn't wasn't saved. Or maybe I need to. Let's wait for one minute to see. Okay, now it uh, refreshed. So done. Mm. Cool. Uh, say joke. <laughs> That's an unusual request. Mm, I, I'm not good in telling jokes, maybe. Uh, but what can I tell you? I have a party today with uh, this guy. This guy, Tuka. Yeah. This guy comes to Warsaw. I don't know if just for a party or some other reason. And uh, we like organize a party just for <laughs> red coders. We will have a party where only people that are good in code forces are allowed to, to join. Uh, that's my plan for this evening. Mm. So I don't know this guy, but I will meet him today. Uh, Robo Marathon. Mm, okay, so this is done. How should I mark that something is done? Crossing it out? No. I'm not good with tools. Colorist party. Yeah, this is kind of... Is this kind of racist that we only invite red people? YouTube channel description. Okay, so we have this second channel of mine, of mine that doesn't have any description or anything. Uh, there is also my first channel. Mm. Your teammate uh, MNBVMAR is also coming. He's not my teammate. Uh, in Warsaw we had we are all retired now. We had two very strong teams, and Svistak, Martin Smu, and N MNB Vimar is uh, are the other team, the stronger one actually. I'm with Radeus and Marek Summer, mm, and yes, Marek will come. Uh, MNB Vimar. This is my main channel. I have a lot of stuff here, and I want to move it to remove it from this channel and move it to the second one uh, because of how YouTube works. So th this one will be cleaner and just for mm, short educational uh, videos like this one. Coding problem, painting defense, just some problem from code forces. And streams will be on that Erichta 2. So Erichta 2 will be more for people from competitive programming that want to watch a long stream and Erichta will be for short videos. Mm. Okay, one more thing. Uh, and plans. Mm. I think... I, mm, I want to save my time a little bit. So I want to actually pay someone to make subtitles from my cha for my channel. And if one of you want to do it, then write to me, or even now in the chat. 
I think it's... I don't earn right now anything from YouTube. Uh, just maybe like from time to time. Actually, yesterday was the first time I earned some money with YouTube because I did a stream where I was paid for making something like an editorial just in form of a video for that PSUT contest. Other than that, I didn't make anything. But I want to save my time and not to do subtitles. So hire someone uh, to make subtitles for short videos. Because my accent isn't perfect and a lot of people that watch me aren't native speakers, I try to make subtitles for short videos. Like here, the fact that you see here CC means that there are subtitles. And I did that, I think, for every short video, like under half an hour, and I want to keep it this way. Streams are just too hard to do that. It takes a lot of time. For 15 minutes video, it takes like 40 minutes to make subtitles. Mm. No, here I don't have subtitles. I think I'm ready to pay like $10 per 15 minutes videos. Maybe one dollar per minute is a good uh, price. This is a very round number. Uh, yeah, it's a bit boring. And if I pay someone else to do that, I can do more interesting stuff, like make more videos. Short videos are great. When are you making new one? Actually, I made it one uh, like three weeks ago and I still didn't post it, so it's waiting. Plus, uh, I think in the next two or three days, I, I even want to make some short videos. Okay, I want to do that. I would also hire someone f to edit videos, but this is easy. I don't know anything complicated for me. It takes several minutes to, to edit stuff. Nice mustache, thank you. Uh, boring programming streams are back. They are, indeed. Plans are also... Uh, so maybe here, schedule streams, regular streams. Mm, okay, I need to figure out what to move from this channel to Arista 2. Do you have any plan to join any organization like Google, etc. in the future? Not in the near future. Mm. I I want to create educational stuff. I also started a company to teach programming in uh, in Warsaw to teach kids. I hope to find somebody talented from from time to time. So maybe in several years there will be something someone in Polish Olympiad that started programming with, thanks to me. Uh, also. Another thing that uh, maybe even one of you is interested in that is that we we wanted with Kostka to organize uh, maybe workshops, maybe a camp in Poland in June, like three weeks from now. And um, it maybe we'll invite somebody from outside of Poland. If you are if you prepare for IOI and you are close to Poland, like neighboring country, you can write to us, either me or Kostka, that you're interested. Mm. Of course, the main cost for you will be uh, accommodation and uh, flights, plus some very small fee for uh, workshops itself, they, they self, themselves. Mm. So we wanted to do a camp for our IOI contestants, plus several more students. Uh, but we did one a year ago, a small unofficial camp for like eight people, I guess, if I remember correctly, uh, with good um, stuff. I was there, Kostka was there, Radeusz was there, and Kuba Boguta. Um, this year it will be similar, but uh, Maybe it, may, it would make more sense with some more people from abroad. If you want to go uh, come to Warsaw for a week in June, then write to me 
and uh, maybe you will be invited. Mm. How is your company funded? The schools, etc. fund you or students directly? Right now I have one very small group uh, that I teach just programming from, from zero and uh, every student pays for that. Um, but in the next year I hope to have some funding, at least for two groups a week, uh, from some something that is called Center, Center of Mastery of Informatics. Mm, they got money from some grant, some fund, I don't think, maybe it was European Union. It's called, if you're from Poland, you can check out cmi.edu.pl. I hope to get some money from them. Mm, and then I will have some groups that are you know, completely free for students. Mm. And I will get, uh, like, I don't know, what is it, $200 per month for such a group from that fund. Uh, teach something about your decomposition of a graph. I'm not good in graphs, sorry. Uh, that group is lucky to learn from. Uh, what do you mean by ear? Uh, yes, space clones say something about some. This is called ear decomposition, right? Ear decomposition. No. Hmm. How is it called? Hello, ready. I think it's called ear decomposition. No. Oh, it's corrected. Uh, ear decomposition algorithm. No, the, the the spelling was fine. Ear decomposition algorithm. I'm just uh, weak in graphs, so I won't likely uh, talk about them. By the way, if you want to learn um, hard algorithm, I also recommend another YouTube channel that is uh, vplanet. Uh, vplanet YouTube. And he didn't do anything for some time, but I saw in Discord, actually she didn't do anything for some time, just like me. Uh, but she plans some hard algorithms like alien streak and convex hull trick for June. So uh, if you want something hard, then uh, stay tuned with that channel. Heard it for the first time. Uh, yeah, it's about uh, the, composi the composition of graph into cycles. Mm, what makes sense? Like the, the, the shape they create is some graph, then extra ear, then extra another ear. You can Google the, and read about it. This is done. YouTube channel link description. Let's do that. Rick Tattoo, customized channel. About channel description uh, coding streams <laughs> that's something maybe coding streams is enough <coughs> uh, streams about programming or coding about Coding algorithms and often coding and algorithms. I think ninety percent of uh, this channel will be streams. Hmm. Okay. Uh, there was something like. Pop, pop, pop. I remember it's possible to create your own link to a channel like I have youtube.com slash Erichto for the main channel I want the same thing for this one how to do it uh, uh, custom link 
Shout says, did you learn all CP on your own or someone helped you? Most of it at the beginning on my own from the internet. Mm, but then in the university, uh, there was uh, there was a lot of trainings. In AC my CPC, I competed with two guys that were already very experienced, and uh, this uh, sped up my learning um, curve. Claim a custom URL. Have 100 or more subscribers, be at least 30 days old, am I? I think so. Because this was streamed one month ago. April the 17th, what is it today? May the 17th, perfect. Uh, have an uploaded photo as channel icon, have uploaded channel art. What I need to do is I need to Mm. Where is my channel? I need to customize channel and add a photo here. Let's hmm. mm. let's put the same photo I, as I have here. How to do it? How to do it? I have two monitors. I want to download something from the other channel. But I don't see an option for that. Maybe I have it somewhere in my computer. Uh, pictures. This is, by the way, a photo. Is there a full photo somewhere? Hmm. If I find it, I will show you. Uh, I have on my wall. I have something that is, I think, designed to um, put your keys there, your keys or maybe your jacket, I don't know. And I put all my uh, badges there from contests. Mm -hmm. I'm looking now for that picture. Actually, a photo, not a picture. Okay, I have something. This is one version that is a bit cropped. The full photo. Mm -hmm. By the way, you can see it right there. Of course, you don't see it well right now. Um, but I'm looking for a good quality photo on my computer, so I would be able to uh, upload it here. Uh, hello, Pixars, Pixlers. Uh, yeah, I, I knew people were waiting for videos. Uh, I didn't have time, plus I was sick for some time. Uh, I was coughing a lot and it's bad to do streams where I talk for several hours when my throat isn't well. Go to your Facebook page. Maybe that's a good idea. How old am I? 24. Mm.
yeah, I have my Facebook page on the side. By the way, facebook.com slash Erichta. Mm. Recently, I mainly put reminders there, reminders about contests and my videos. But from time to time, I also put something valuable there, like description of a problem, mentioning something cool that you should know. Mm. My channel customize at channel art select photo <laughs> I have a different photo as well that I can use this is uh, from ICPC finals 2000 15 in Marrakesh where you can see me biting my, my medal Marek Sommer on the side and also our third teammate that stands next to me is visible on the screen in the background looking very sadly at us it looks a bit like some picture from I don't know a movie anime uh, I can put that maybe as a background uh, this this channel is less serious what you can guess from my profile uh, picture here our uh, more recent team winning uh, polish championships the polish state the national stage of acpc not winning i see it's second place but we won uh, i think i and marek won two times mm. Maybe this is better for background. Let's see how that would look like. Mm. Why a separate channel? Uh, because YouTube algorithm doesn't... Uh, YouTube algorithm likes the fact that one channel keeps uh, posting videos of one type. And then it, they will be proposed to people that like that type of videos. It's bad that if somebody maybe is interested in my short videos, he wants to spend 10 to 15 minutes uh, learning about some problem. But uh, if he's proposed those long streams, he will be bored. They are of completely different format. And then my channel will not grow. Also, I mm, that main channel I'm able to keep very uh, like nice, clean with subtitles. I can, um, I don't know, if somebody wants to, uh, maybe in the very far away future, make some sponsorship with me, uh, like I can promote some contest, some company product, then I would do that on the main channel. Maybe I will do something related to coding interviews on that channel. Uh, I see that one more as a potential job slash money for me. Well, here I just post streams, long streams that are not very well organized. Uh, and when I have something completely random, maybe I will complain about a contest or maybe I will play some game mm, perfectly with some puzzles, logical puzzles then I can do it on my second channel. Well, I would feel it doesn't fit the main channel where I want to keep nice stuff. What is that guy's handle on Code Forces? Uh, the one in the background is John Aselta. What is your experience with the uh, Redoush being on your team? Uh, well, he's, uh, especially now, extremely strong. Mm. At the beginning of our career participating in icpc he was uh, the strongest in our team can you call radeus for a boring programming stream uh, i think i could maybe i can invite him for the next stream 
Mm, okay, let's get back to what I started. That is. Uh, hmm. uh, that uh, what was that? Choosing background photo. Mm, open file. Where is it? Man. It's uploading. And it looks like that. Adjust the crop. Your image is too small. Please upload an image in better uh, resolution. Uh, that's stupid. Mm, again on the side. Edit channel art. Upload photo. And this is, by the way, a picture from Google CodeGem. Radeusz won distributed CodeGem. I was uh, second in standard CodeGem. A funny thing, well, actually two funny things about this picture, if I can make it bigger. It isn't vi very well visible here. Maybe I will grab my own medal. But in distributed CodeGem, So in in distributed code gem, in distributed algorithms, a very well known issue is that programs can mm, do something in the wrong order, and because of that, they uh, the organizers uh, s mm, figured out that in our badges and in our medals, I don't have a medal for top three, just for a fin finalist, they will mess up letters. Here you can find, you can see that it says print finalist where letters are messed up. I don't know if you see it well. It says F I I N A S L T. And I, if I remember correctly, also his gold medal uh, has some messed up letters. What is a cool and unusual thing. The same is for badges, I guess. Mm. We keep distracting him, <laughs> he'll never get anything done. That's true. Uh, BPS with Redemption and you would really be fun. No programming stuff, just general stuff. Uh, it can be combined, general stuff, like programming and no programming. Mm. OK, I said that there were two things about that photo. Uh, one thing is that his medal is messed up. The other is that, uh, uh, how they're called? One moment. Uh, we, we were in hurry for some next event. And uh, I just had uh, my how is it called? Boxers uh, on. So I didn't have. I don't know words in English. I didn't have trousers on. I just had my boxers because I only got out from shower and we are in a big hurry. I can make subtitles for free. I would feel better if I paid a small amount for that. Mm. Yeah, but I need someone that. Uh, I need someone that would be able to mm, do that in a few days uh, from making a video and uh, like your English level should be f should be quite good like not to make mistakes there and if that's the case then I will be happy to pay some small amount for that I don't think it's fair that mm, 
that you spend a lot of time doing something boring and not getting paid at all. Mm. Okay. Now I'm trying to add photo the same as my main channel. Back. Uh, Uploading. This one has better quality. Select. Saving. Maybe it will work. Saved. Okay. How does it look like compared to the main channel? Uh, is it the same thing? Yeah, roughly. That's fine. Viewers yourself, viewers, returning subscriber. What happens? Why is it completely different format? Okay, got it. Mm. So we have channel art. And I can close this too. Have uploaded photos channel in general. Set up a custom URL. Advanced account settings. Let's go there. Uh, is the word Gennady, uh, Gennady blacklisted here? Because someone's Gennady comment didn't appear. It didn't? I don't think it's uh, blacklisted. And I don't see any comment that would be removed. So I don't think it's blacklisted. You can pay me to three dollars a video. Uh, yeah, this will be motivation. Now how to do it? The streams of absolving contest from start like that coder DP contest and PSUT coding Martin are the best streams. Would be great if you make more contest solving streams later. Uh, yeah, and this doesn't require from me some preparation in advance. Mm, so that's easy to do, and I will do more of that. Now, how do I want to uh, do that? Uh, I don't know how to handle subtitles. I don't want to give the whole ri access rights to my channel to someone I barely know. Hmm. I will figure that out in a moment. Uh, let's finish with URL. Channel settings, you uh, claim it here. Eric Tattoo. I can name it Eric Tattoo or Eric Tattoo plus something extra. Just Eric Tattoo is fine. Mm, okay. YouTube.com slash Eric Tattoo. Sounds okay. Change URL. Once you conf confirm, you can change it again or transfer the URL to someone else. Confirm. <coughs> <coughs> Let's try it. YouTube.com slash Eric Tattoo. It works. Done. Uh, so this is, I think, done. Mm. But then the next thing is move videos from Erichto to Erichto to uh, plus one to contest solving streams. Do you think it's better to study bottom up from scratch or top down goal oriented? Mix things up, not to get bored. Uh, this is the best way. Anyone can put subtitle, but you should accept it, I think. A lot of people watch videos when they are posted immediately. It would be nice if subtitles are ready when video is posted. Mm. Contest solving streams are OST, are best viewed and will earn most subscribers. That's possible. In the long run, the, the, the biggest possibility is making counting interview problems because hundreds of thousands of people can watch that. 
and they are interested in that. While uh, sports programming is uh, limited to 10,000 people. Uh, okay, what's to the next? Movie is editorial, adding timestamps. Let's add timestamps. This is something quite boring, but I need to do it. Marathon, I need to turn up sound. I will not turn, uh, you will not hear it. And for you, sound will be off. Do I hear it at all? Okay, I do. You can confirm that you don't hear it. Then I don't want to mix my voice now and from that video. Um, okay, how to put timestamps on my main channel? I already added timestamps to something. Uh, what was it? Add coder. Let's look at add coder contest. Mm, okay. All the codes are. I need to add codes to GitHub repository. Timestamps are here. Mm. Add a public comment. So again, timestamps. Mm, a frog. Okay. I can set speed as 1.5. Mm. Four zero two. Let's choose the exact same format. This is a <coughs> generous eater. It won't. Be, it won't take a lot of time because there were like ten problems or maybe eleven. Five thirty B final problem. Final problem is a strange name for a second problem in a contest. Problem C sitting arrangement. Ten forty-five. You can because you don't hear uh, what happens. Sometimes I already opened a problem here, but still I'm talking about the previous one or I'm answering some comment because of that. Sometimes this timestamp of start of the problem is a bit later than you see a problem itself. See uh, what is it? Sitting, yeah, sitting. Now a hard word arrangement. C is done and D twenty one forty two. 
the picture day. Day is done. And fifty two thirteen E Snake Wolves. I do recommend that contest, by the way. It was well prepared. Maybe one problem was. Uh, that the organizers misjudged the difficulty by a lot. I think it was problem F. And now F. So in that contest, Five uh, five problems took me uh, what mm, I want to see some timestamps. Five problems took me thirty seven thirty eight minutes, <laughs> and then I I think the next problem took me an hour or two hours, and of course then problems are getting harder. F sum then multiply. Forty two, forty two. What a nice number. And this is F. Sum, sum, then multiply, not solved. And I know that I can jump now by an hour. I said multiple times during the stream that during a contest I would switch uh, already to the next problem, but because it's a stream, I preferred to solve problems in order. Mm. I didn't solve that problem correctly, but still didn't want to spend more time and move to the next one. G, next number. 144. 54 one fifty four fifty nine oh well, what about the name what is the name greater number or something like that Next number. Are you competing in Code Jam? Yes, I am. The next round is on Saturday. Yeah, so it's tomorrow. Mm, it's It should be easy for me to advance because 1000 people advance to the next round or 1500. And then the next one the the third round is the real challenge where uh, you need to get to top 20 or so by the way it's very sad that there is no distributed code gem this year maybe they will get back to that in the next year i was told uh, they need to redesign the system for distributed code gem H convex polygons. 
to 0903. Uh, this is convex edge, convex polygons. I think it took me like half an hour. What of course would be uh, faster uh, if I didn't explain stuff while solving. But the value from those streams is uh, that I do explain stuff. I want to teach people during those streams. So 39, maybe let's scroll it here. Two thirty-nine fourteen. Project presentation. Two problems to go. Okay, uh, I see already J here. So I didn't take a lot of time, like 14 minutes. Mm, 253, 25. Graph to grid. This was a harder problem, it took some time. And there is K there. J was a hard problem. And J, uh, Mateusz had 11 wrong submissions there. Two fifty five, three fifty five, mm, fifteen. Okay. Oh, caps look is here. Cactus portal, and we are done. this is also not solved. For those these problems, F and K, I have um, solutions written and maybe this it will be easy to fix them. Okay, timestamps, comment, yep, something else. I need to also put things in GitHub. I will do that later. Comment, timestamps are done. Mm. Maybe how how do I mark something as done without crossing it out? This doesn't look nice. Maybe let's leave it as done. Uh, adding timestamps done. Mm, add PS2, PSUT codes to GitHub repo. Um, okay. And we are one hour into the stream. Please stream it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not going to stream code jump tomorrow. And I don't want to, I'm not going to record it either because uh, I want to focus on problems. I'm not going to comment on anything. And then it's just boring. 
Petr, for example, Petr or Umnik and Dagorion, they are better in competitions. It mo makes more sense if they record something and put it there because they will usually get better plays. Uh, I think I will only record something if I want to also make comments during the contest. Mm. What should I do now? I think either finish those problems. Maybe let's do that. And I need to do the editorial, uh, waiting editorial for some old contest. This was Russian Olympiad uh, that I put in Jim of Code Forces. Mm. Yeah, let's let's finish something from from that contest. Uh, where are my codes? It was in PSUT. Okay. We have the codes. Now it will be, I think, easier to debug the problem F. Mm. This is the contest. Mm. Why don't I see anything on the right? Mobile version, switch to desktop version. Yes, please. Sum, then multiply. The task was to uh, give a sequence split it in some positions to maximize a product. After we split, we take the product 8 times the sum of every part and we multiply that. It, here it would be 8 times 1 plus 1, which is 2, times 3. Here the answer is uh, that the value achieved is 8 times 2 times 3. Now let's open my code, fcpp. What I want to do, I think I got wrong answer. Yeah, wrong answer in test six. Do I have access to that test? I don't. I could uh, I could turn coach mode on in code forces to see the test, but for now let's not cheat. Mm, I want to find a counter test for my solution. I can try, first of all, some tests by hand. One, one, uh, one, five, five, one. Five, one is correct, okay. Mm, five, two, 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 uh, no, uh, two, two, correct. Four, Three, one, 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 two. Uh, I'm, I keep uh, forgetting about putting n as the first number. One, one, two. I think this is incorrect. <coughs> <coughs> no, it's okay. The answer is four. I can get bigger, better one. What is coach mode? Mm. In Dream, if you are high rated you can put something that is called coach mode on and then you have access to more stuff. Where is it? Coach rights. Coach mode is disabled. You can take part in the trainings as a regular user. Do you want to enable coach mode? Enable. And then I can um, see tests for all gym contests. Um, and maybe there are some different rights. I'm not sure about that. Uh, I think I can open anybody's code. And maybe that's it. I'm not sure if I can, at least from my contest, I can ban people. I'm not sure about uh, any different thing. 
if you have questions like that, the good way to do is Google Code Forces Coach Mode, and there will be some links about it. And condition is you must take part in 30 rated contests if you have rating above something or rating above something. And then see where it's explained well. Let's get back to the problem. If I get the wrong answer, um, I can read code, but this is very long, ugly code, so I'm not going to do that now. I can try some small tests by hand. Mm, hoping to find some mistake. One three three one. Oh, three one one one. One 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 three four. Looks correct for now. This is also correct. Five uh, two one two one one. Correct. 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 Six one six one six. Six one six one six. Okay, that was a good test, but this is fine. Let's try something similar. One six one six one. Looks correct. Mm, maybe even an one six one six one six. Six one six one six one. It's okay. The next thing is I can write a brute force solution and I'm going to do that um, inside the program, maybe, or a separate program. When I print stuff, I can compute the answer, assuming that this it's it fits in long look. Answer is one. Uh, last sum is zero. Last sum plus equal ai. If i is equal n or split after of i. Last sum is zero, answer times equal last sum. Print to output uh, output error mm, that value answer. Something is wrong. Answer wrong order. Forty-two. Okay. Mustafa proposed a longer test. Let's try it. Uh, how many numbers we have here? Three, six, blah blah. Thirteen. Does it look correct? One one two two one. Yep, it looks fine. I wouldn't do it better. What about the same thing with extra one at the beginning? Also fine. But with extra... Mm -hmm. uh, here I want to replace three with a two. Yeah, it's correct in my opinion. Now let's write brute force. Well, let's do it here. Uh, best is zero. <laughs> For mask like that. 
I iterate over binary mask that will denote where I split. I will do that here. Uh, for everything, split after is equal to casted to bool mask and one ten to the i minus one. And now I will just ugly copy paste this. Uh, or maybe let's not. Score. Let's remove that. Mm, put s score. Want to copy this? Uh, last sum was initially zero. Answer is one. Return answer. <coughs> best is max best and score uh, print best assert mm, mine is equal best and that previous score I will save as mine like my score my score Something was wrong and was not declared because n is local. Incompatible types. Split after of i. Let's see if on this example. Yeah, it's okay. I think it's failing on some larger case. Uh, but usually there will be also smaller case for which my program fails, unless I have something like overflow or too small array. Uh, let's take a look at the array. 300,000. This is enough. If I don't multiply things and stuff like that, there should be no overflow. Now what I need is a generator. Mm. And up to what, I don't know, 10 numbers up to four and there should be spaces between them let's modify this bash script mm. save uh, save random file to int mm. then uh, check difference between no not difference run f of on int or break bash s dot sh and here we go uh, int n equal to one hmm. I think the brute force solution is wrong for n equal to one I didn't find a counter test. And then this is zero, so still it should consider one mask. Mm. Oh, uh, this should be outside. Best best is max of best and score and it's right let me compile this with O2 which is a different button for me uh, this also with O2 and let's run it assert failed 1, 2, 1, 3, 1 
I put a slash after two. Uh, while I should do it after one to one. I check which if makes that. This one. Mm. This one should put a split after that one. So something earlier put a split there. What do we handle here? Free of all, this is not... Of course, you will not understand it well if you didn't watch the stream yesterday. Or maybe this one. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. If... Okay, here we have something wrong. Shouldn't it be one? If seven is here, then can I put it like that as well? I can. So let's change this two into one. Maybe something else will now be incorrect. And without that brute force, I would spend hours trying to find here an issue with this single character. It was two, now it it is one. I have a lot, a lot of ifs here. I'm sure some of them are unnecessary because I maybe cover the same thing twice. The whole code is 320 lines. Yeah, it looks correct. So now let's remove the brute force because it's slow. Or actually, let's uh, copy my submission. And let's change just that one thing. Two into one. Still not failed. Submit. I got previously wrong answer on test 6 and now we are past test 6. Running on 35. Uh, why did you select? You have copy option on the right. I didn't know there is a copy option. Copy. I didn't see it. Mm, yeah, it, it looks useful. I will try to remember to use it. Also, maybe Control A. No, Control A does not work. So <laughs> it's a useful button. Um, where are my submissions? My submissions on test seventy-seven, ninety-one. It's very frustrating in contests, in real contests, where you write something for three hundred lines. Then after the contest, or a day later, you see that it was enough to change one character to get AC. It was a case for us in last in the last year ICPC finals. What is very sad. Accepted. Actually, we had that in two problems. <laughs> okay, F is done. Cool. Mm, what about K? Please open. Do I have internet? Yes, I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Rain has just started. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. Oh, 
by the way, my I think coolest plan is to make a code forces round. Make a code forces round and record like making it. Uh, and then publish after the contest. That's unique and nobody has done that before. I think it will be amazing for people that are beginners in creating contests. They will see how the process looks like. I already have ideas for problems CDE, so the hardest one. I need to write them down, propose uh, to coordinator, wait for response, then start um, then start working on problems and invent those easier ones. I will close the window because the floor will get wet. Mm -hmm. This problem is we are given a graph that is almost a line. Uh, we want to go from vertex 1 to vertex n and we not only this is not a path the, some vertices were replaced with cycles uh, so we go to the right then we have some cycle so there are two ways to go then a path then cycle and we can make one teleport we want to basically in short we want to cover as much ground as possible with this teleport and uh, there is limit k. The distance between two endpoints of that teleport must be at most k. I've written something like two pointers, maybe binary search. Uh, for every vertex on the right, I binary searched how far I can reach to the left. Mm. <coughs> This is F, I don't need it. Oh, uh, I already checked 200,000 random tests with my brute force. Okay, KCPP, yeah, I need KCPP. And I have 200 lines of code. I need to run it on sample test and understand what is wrong mm, with some printing some debug info. Mm, do I have file in? I do. So I can run k on in. I will, a lot of stuff will be printed. Maybe first let's get back to understanding my code. Mm, because some, I guess some plus minus one is wrong here. What do I do? I have some DP. Uh, I but at, at first I I misunderstood the problem and I did DP instead of something easier. Mm, update update. Yeah, I do by binary search the block from which we can jump here. By block I mean cycle. I do that binary search then. Uh, let's focus on this part. <coughs> I know to which, uh, from which block I can jump here. Jump means uh, making teleport. In that block, I binary search uh, an exact edge between zero and size of that block minus one, and binary search v is that vertex in between. Actually, it's an edge. Distance is total pref of i. This was pref. i is my block. This is length up to that block. Minus total pref of block plus one. Mm, okay. Plus in mind block i, I need to get to k. k is my index in this block. Mm, plus in his block 
I need to take some suffix. I take the last element that is back minus and now is v plus one correct mm. for zero i mean that i think it is then i do the same thing here <coughs> this is the leftmost vertex from which we can jump mm. And best is what? The P. Then as answer I consider best plus uh, this is suffix from my block to the right. I need to go from my block to the right. Plus in this block I need suffix as well. Um, Zero, one. Makes sense. So this is like the distance till the end. Not, don't I need it times two? Twenty-four. I think it's the because we need to get back, and I I did, had something like when I make a jump then i go to n vertex n but i need to go back so i need to multiply that distance by two let's submit uh think it took me now what nine minutes running contest free that's something I passed one more test apart from the sample test. Refresh, refresh. <laughs> Running on test four. <laughs> by the way one more issue that i have is that i used to use castr.io for restreaming restreaming means streaming to both twitch and youtube at the same time and they changed their pricing policy it used to be free uh, if i want to just stream to two platforms not it, now it costs some small amount of money ten dollars per month uh, I think I will buy it, I'm not sure. There is also Restream that is much uh, much more expensive. Right, right now, there is nothing private here. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, right now I use Restream, but it's free version. And because of that, under, under the video on YouTube, you will see something like multi-streaming with Restream.io. Uh, it would be good to get rid of this comment for that I need to pay or switch to Castro and there pay $10 a month <laughs> wrong answer on test 47 <sighs> I really don't want to write a brute force for this problem So I think here I will cheat and I will turn coach mode on. Uh, maybe in binary search I have some mistake by one. Then it makes sense that it passed a lot of tests and didn't pass like 15th. If distance greater than teleport go closer, that is correct. Distance greater than teleport, then go closer. Mm. 
let's create a test. A test that will be just a line and let's uh, investigate that for some time. Uh, what do we have? The number of nodes, edges, let's say we have 10, no, maybe not 10, 7, 6 edges and k is, I don't know, 50, 20. Edges are 1, 2, something, 2, 3, something, 3, 4, something. The format is, uh, first we have the number of nodes, edges and k, the limit for the distance of teleport, and then edges, from a to b with cost uh, or length 1. Okay, on into. Right now the answer is 6. Is it correct? Yes, I will go in one direction and then back. What if the limit is smaller, like 5? The answer should increase. Yep. 11. I will just save 1. Normally it will be 12 minus 1. Works correct. Now, if I put everything here 5s or maybe 10s, so every edge has length 10. Now, 120, correct. Limit 9, still 120. Limit 10, one, 110, yep. 19, correct. 20, correct. 69, 60, 70, 60. Yeah, 60 is uh, what we need. And 59. It looks correct here. Now let's experiment a little bit. Maybe here I have 12 to 12. And I can make a jump of size 25. Shouldn't be enough. 88. And now 26 should allow us to jump through this three. Then the answer will be the sum of everything that is 22, 24, 60, uh, 36, 56 plus dot 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 56. I think I will get 86. Let's see. It, it isn't 86. Still not 26. Am I correct here? Mm. This I will cover twice. So I have 20. Plus this only once. Oh, I need to multiply that by 2. So let's see. I have 60 from that. No, I did. Everything is okay. 20, 32, 34, uh, 34, 46, plus that times 2, which is 86. I think it, the answer should be 86 here. Well, it is 88. Uh, so let's see what I do in mm, K. Okay. Well, I'm looking for a block then. If this is the same block, so I'm jumping from the same cycle. I'm binary searching from which vertex I can get there. Mm. I need to here do from low debug i j k from mm, yep <sighs> okay the file is here the test is here i'm ho i hope that i did the test correctly maybe i missed something up mm, the values are 10 12 2 12 10 10 uh, 4 k equal to 3 k equal to 4 mm, from is 2 
for k equal to 3 from is 0 what means for this one uh, the we number from 0 from 1 don't remember I think from 3 okay uh, this is number 3 if you want to finish there we can jump like that 10 plus 12 plus 2 fit in k fit in 30 in that allowed distance of a jump then for 4 this should be allowed but it isn't from should be 1 in my opinion mm. let's take a look <coughs> when I'm jumping from the same block uh, minor search V is the middle thing mm, and now distance is prefs of up to k plus 1 minus that is it correct from 0 I think it should be v plus 1 just like we had here but it's still 88 even though I improved that to 1 here it's tr it's a bit strange so I did change something but the answer is still incorrect in my opinion if if i is 0 and j is 0 and k is 4 print give me dp of ij from prefs of ij k plus 1 oh i didn't uh, here i also need plus 1 just like i have here now it should be okay uh, what? 24 please and 86 please 86 let's submit again I need to remember I need to remember during those streams to stretch from time to time it's not healthy to sit in front and uh, in front of a computer and not move for several hours I hope we are done with this mm, should I post under that video I think the original one I should post links to timestamps in this video uh, when I solve those problems F and K test 47 it stopped again looks like wrong answer yeah 55 59 61 what I should do next I hope this is uh, done then let's add codes to github repository mm, and the next thing to do I guess is editorial for Robo Marathon Robo Marathon this is how to spell it Marathon yeah I lacking on a letter here Robo Marathon unless I want to make it on Windows Mm, because on Windows I have one node in which I can draw nicely I'm right now on Linux because I wanted to implement something from yesterday mm, it's more convenient for me to code in Linux but Windows is better for drawing for making editorials test 89 very cool thing that was announced is, what is it called Windows Terminal Windows Terminal yeah it's here uh, this is so cool I hope that I will be able to switch the Windows completely with my streams 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Is it already there or is it only announced? Mm. So I can have Ubuntu here. I don't know how it works. Right now I have some, uh, I don't know what it is, VirtualBox of Linux in Windows, but it's not very convenient. This looks amazing. Mm, still, I'm not used to Vim or stuff like that in terminal. I hope that from this terminal I will be able to run Genie. We'll see. But mm, I have high hopes. Running contest 109. If this passes, I think I would solve this contest in five hours if I didn't explain stuff uh, while going. Mm, but I don't think I would be Tradeusz. He had a lot of wrong submissions on J though. So maybe. I would have for sure. I Skipping F and jumping immediately to G, I would have better time. I need to add 300 times 2 because of problems F and K. But we have better time on those problems. Maybe. Maybe I would beat him. Of course, it's what if. Here he won. He finished in 4 hours. But I know that he cheated in F. Uh, this is not intended solution, he did something with doubles. By the way, he can see the same templates that I use, because we were in the same team. We used the same templates. Uh, yeah, he has a very short code, because he does something with long doubles. Uh, it's I'm sure it's possible to create tests for which his solution will not work, um, because of precision er errors, but it's very hard to prepare those tests. And organizers didn't do it. One, three, two. There are a lot of tests in this problem, and I'm not surprised. Uh, okay, what about my GitHub repository? How is it called? YouTube? Arista maybe? Uh, I'm looking here. Yeah, YouTube. Mm. What do I want to create here? M make dear maybe first git status, git pull. Mm. There's a lot of unnecessary things in... Accepted! Yeah, final. Mm. Okay, F and K are done. Finish problems. Done. Uh, git pull. Oh, I have here a code for video that is not yet published. Yeah, but you will see it, I think, this weekend. Mm. Okay, I did I create a folder, a directory? No. PSUT. Mm. How is it called? Coding Marathon. Copy from a hey, from PSUT ACPP here. I don't want to copy trash. Maybe just everything that is CPP. Yeah, makes sense. Also, I can copy script. Looks fine. Uh, Uh, 
PSUT coding contest counts. Git push. What was my username? Okay. Mm. Okay, it's here. Let's see. A, F, K. Is this F correct? Well, this contains that brute force thing, but whatever. Maybe I should replace it. Or maybe not. Yeah, this version is fine. It's more valuable. And K is corrected as well. Right, yeah, I worked in this folder. Cool. Mm, this is done. Maybe now something, uh, let's move that here. Uh, this is done, let's mark that gray. Move videos from Erichta to Erichta 2. Clean this document. I did some coding, so now let's do a little bit of something uh, more lazy. I have a lot of cables. Clean this document. Maybe sc schedule regular streams. Let me think about that. Uh, I have several stuff that I can do regularly. That would be... Mm, Working on uh, French IOI materials. Uh, those guys uh, want to prepare some platform with materials, and I can work on that during a stream. Mm, that would be a boring stream. Mm, and also do something for my future. I don't know business and that would be related to coding interviews I think oh. uh, read materials read prepare materials coding interviews mm. and for both I need to choose which I want to do and how how much I want to do it. Mm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Do I have paint here? I do. <laughs> Enjoy my beautiful drawing. This is a week. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I will not schedule anything regular on weekends because sometimes I'm busy. Mm, then... I used to have a lot of private lessons on Thursday but not not longer a case still first there is also uh, some trainings on 
uh, my university so that's uh, let's cross that out hmm. this is unavailable <sighs> Monday Tuesday Tuesday evening I have something regularly I have my um, class in Warsaw and Wednesday afternoon as well this one is for high school students uh, that is a preparation for IOI National Olympiad mm. okay this is a plan for the next month like I'm after summer it will be different and during summer I think two long streams per week makes sense. One of them could be in the morning, maybe. One of them later. Is Monday or Tuesday better? Mm hmm. Once I schedule that, I will publish this and this will be my schedule for streams for the next month, uh, for boring streams. These are boring streams. Hi, what's the difference between your two YouTube channels? Your question uh, reminded me that I need to make frequently asked questions. The difference is Eric Tattoo is for streams, uh, also not very well organized stuff. While on the on Eric Tattoo one I will have nicely prepared stuff. Mm, short videos like 10 to 15 minutes that I prepare for and uh, the quality will be very high. While here Eric Tattoo will be quantity and sometimes something random okay what about do you stay alone i don't get your question if your question is do i live alone the answer is no i don't mm. Mm. by default i don't stream after like 5 pm because then my girlfriend is also home and this is it's a very small apartment. I don't have a separate, we don't have multiple rooms. Uh, I will have that after summer, I think. I will move to a different apartment. So, maybe Friday afternoon would be a good moment for a stream. Like that. This will be 12 to 18. Then I could he I can hit the gym before that. Mm -hmm. And what? Monday or Tuesday morning? Sometimes on Monday I'm not in Warsaw, but on the other hand, mm, that would motivate me a little bit to do something Monday morning instead of resting after weekend. So maybe like that. And here it would be like, what, nine to something? hard choices uh, maybe you have some suggestions 
Are there some regular contests that happen usually on Sunday? I think Monday morning is a bad time because often after weekend I want to go to the gym and morning is perfect moment for that because uh, the gym is not crowded Monday, Monday morning is bad time I are the Monday later or Tuesday morning. Maybe let's go with Tuesday morning, but then Monday I will do nothing. Can I do multiple streams in the near future? <laughs> can you please do division 3 and division 2 code forces rounds so that bots like me can understand uh, that's a hard philosophical question whether I should there, there are some people that want to teach others and they are weaker than me in competitive programming so maybe they should do div 2 and div 3 and because I can do harder problems, I should focus on them. If that makes sense. But there aren't a lot of people that do uh, this kind of educational contents, content on YouTube or Twitch. Actually, I think I'm the only one who now regularly does something on Twitch. There is also vPlanet on YouTube. Mm, and some other different channel like code report but code report doesn't do streams mm, or hard problems uh, so what i want to do this would possible i think i'm thinking about possible slots monday <coughs> maybe it would be better after gym so then a shorter one 12 to 16 <coughs> Wednesday is maybe from the morning Uh, Tuesday. I mean Tuesday. I a lot of time I mess up in English. Uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. On Wednesday, I need to be somewhere at three p.m. So, in, if anything, that would be morning. That's a bad day. Thursday is bad day as well. Mm, then Friday. Almost anything is good on Friday. Only one day gym. Not, not really. I'm just saying that uh, it's better to go to gym when it's not crowded, and it is on afternoons and evenings and on weekends. Saturday and Sunday I usually don't go to the gym because there are more, more people there. Still, morning is fine, uh, but during a week it's better. I have that because I don't work full time, like uh, nine to five. I have the opportunity to go to gym where there is almost nobody there and it's very convenient, comfortable. Uh, after weekend I often go on Monday morning. Mm, this is why I don't want to start stream on Monday morning. Mm. The other thing is that so far I didn't manage to make my life so regular to say that I go, for example, to the gym on those exact days. I usually go every well, like two or three days 
and it turns out differently every week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe because I have time, I don't have a lot of other responsibilities and I want to get back with stuff. Maybe I can do three streams per week uh, for the next month. Then for summer I will readjust everything. Does that make sense? I will think about it. Uh, okay, let's go through the mm, document. YouTube versus Twitch versus both. I will for now stream to both. Streaming on Linux. Desktop audio should be muted. Yeah, in, otherwise there is echo. Uh, in stream, put problem name in the top. I stopped doing that. Remember about removing beer. Yeah, th these are general tips for me during both ring streams. Mm. Yeah, pop, pop. I can also do that. Plans, figure out glitches. So glitches and are done. This is not in plans anymore. St I, I know what to do in NVIDIA settings. Mm. Maybe I should make something like knowledge. Uh, to avoid glitches in Linux, disable flipping in OpenGL. Sections in Google Doc. Uh, I wanted to uh, read about that. Write a code for uh, frequently asked questions. Also, my frequently asked questions. This is more important. Use some sound filters. Uh, whatever. Add timestamps to lectures. To do. Make important bookmarks. To do. Write alt editorials. To do. Consider a new account in Polygon. Stop history. Find a mode. Night mode. Switch to Windows. Channel plan plans. Uh. Mm -hmm. To buy buy lightning new chair. I actually bought a new chair. And I don't care about lightning much. Mm. So while mm, I want to make my uh, my videos to have good quality, uh, I think some stuff aren't that important. I don't need better lightning. Especially now, some uh, there will be summer and there is more light from window. Video ideas. Uh, I still have aliens from us. Video idea. Stream ideas. Uh, problems. AY syllabus. Materials. Mm, categories. Mm. Ignore. Not ignore all. I didn't want to ignore all. Ah, okay, whatever. Move videos. Let's do that. Well, let's learn how to do that. I have my main channel. I want to move almost everything to my secondary channel and mainly to leave those short videos. I have some very old streams that are not very well made. I need to combine, uh, I think my internet broke and two streams are in two parts. I need to fix that. 
uh, these two I can also combine okay. how to download my video from YouTube you can download mp4 files or uh, videos that you've uploaded to YouTube in either 720p or blah, 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 depending on the video size you can also use Google Tag Takeout. I'm going to check how much space I have on my machine. What was the command for that? DUP. Uh, there was a command in Linux for that. Linux command to check disk space. DF, DU. I don't have enough space to fit all my videos, but let's see what Google Takeout is. Select data to include. Mm. <laughs> I can't automatically download everything because there there is too much of that but let's see what happens okay may maybe it will how i treated in kickstart that uh, what's that well you will find out in an, in a video Mm. Uh. Uh. Let's try downloading one video. Select your icon icon from the left panel, select the video stop, hover over the video, click to download and select download. Let's try that. Mm. Switch to Arito. YouTube Studio. I will soon have 4000 subscribers. By the way, I didn't check my analytics for the last month. I guess the views are bad compared to time ago yeah here you can see time when i posted something new and now i don't do anything uh, so everything is is down yeah and with new subscribers there is some one magical day 29th of november i don't know why i got 200 subscribers that day I'm not able to explain that because the, the video wasn't something amazing on that day. Uh, okay, videos. There is that one not published yet video. Uh, I need to add description, subtitles or hire someone for that. Let's try downloading something small. Mm. Download. And what is the resolution? It doesn't look look like 1080. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't want to show everything. How to do it? Let's do it this way. Okay, audio video. The 
resolution is 720. I would prefer to download in t in 1080. Let's look for a way to do that. How to download my video from YouTube in full ha full HD 1080p. Let's try here. Uh, there are some disadvantages to moving those videos, like uh, comments will be removed, chat will be removed, and streams will not be treated as streams, but as videos. But I want to keep the main channel clean. Let's try uh, something short, like this one. Seven twenty. Is it available in ten eighty? Yes, it is. More download video without sound. That's strange. So ten eighty is possible only without sound. I hope I have rights to download my own videos from YouTube. Some add. So, will it download at all, or is it only an ad? Okay, here we go. Let's see. Doesn't look like 1080 either. Mm, let me check. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, it's 720. Mm. No. Videos that I upload myself, anyway, I have on my computer in 1080. The question is, what with streams? And I understand that those streams uh, they take a lot of space. Those will be big, big gigabytes. Mm, maybe not that big. I think one video will be like one gigabyte, what is fine. Download YouTube videos 1080p. Plainly strange, what is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, the file is a bit bigger. On Linux, I used Extreme Download Manager to download videos. Okay, I will check it out. This one looks nicer. I will check if there is sound. There is. Uh, 
Is there some watermark? I wonder. Okay, cool. Uh, Uh, it's indeed 1080p. Uh, cool, cool. Now, can I use the same thing? What is it? Set you. I guess I can download the whole playlist this way. Let's try with some stream. Mm. No, this one is uh, for hours. Download ten eighty P. I'm fine if I need to leave my computer running for a night as long as it doesn't take weeks. One percent, two percent. Okay, it isn't that slow. Let's measure the time. Stopwatch. It works on YouTube and other websites. Okay, let me check that. Uh, Extreme Download Manager uh, software. Will I find it here? <coughs> <coughs> Extreme Download Manager. Mm. I accept. And it's being downloaded. I wonder about this websites, website. Uh, why are they free? Um, it looks like something that needs a lot of computation power on their side. I think I, if I use it to move all my videos, I will donate uh, some money, but it's surprising that their service is free. Is this uh, a scam? Is this safe? Uh, I don't see where they talk about that. I'm going to see if this is a legit website. Uh, 
nobody is commenting here with uh, anything, so I guess it's legit. <laughs> Just if you wonder, I I download my own stuff, so this is legal. I think. Uh, it looks like it will take a bit more than 10 minutes to download uh, a stream that lasts for hours, which is a good result. Then I need to download it to my computer. Mm, maybe let's see if their connection is fast. And what do I want to leave on uh, on the first channel? <coughs> Okay, uh, I'm moving that, I'm moving that, that as well, that as well. This will be the first problem that I'm leaving. Maybe the quality would could be better, but whatever. <coughs> Actually, I will remove almost everything from here. Uh, so just short, uh, short videos. <coughs> Also something like how to test your solution in competitive program. This was well uh, created. I think I will leave here at Coder uh, stream because it's very um, it's very important. Google hash code to recap. I think I will leave as well. Short video, short video. They want to leave anything else. One more advantage of splitting my, to, into two channels is that now I don't feel bad doing something stupid during a stream. If I want to, I don't know, talk about uh, last Google Code Jam and uh, that medal had a wrong print on it, uh, it's cool. I don't think there's anything else. But is it okay that I will be left here with like six videos? Maybe it was a bad decision to split after all. Um, but at least streams will be in one place and everything else in the other. Created playlists. What playlists I have? Boring programs, lectures. Lectures are something important too. Lecture. Maybe I should leave lectures here as well. I think I will do it. Lectures was something for which I prepared. Yeah, so I'm leaving that. Now something like stream where I create AI bot. Maybe, maybe. I'm sure that I need to move boring streams and just random problem solving streams. So this will go here again, creating AI bot. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm moving Problem solving streams and boring programming streams. AI can stay. Uh, 
and for those streams that were splitted uh, I will merge them in some program video editing program okay that's the plan 76 percent in a moment we'll see whether the quality is good if yes then I will like, I I will not download everything now I now I'm investigating whether I can mm. I'm now looking at my uh, Facebook to see who wrote to me. Okay, everything is fine. So let's wait for that. What's up, chat? Does somebody have some questions? Do you want to know something? Mm, what about this for my uh, for that private video I can change it into unlisted I wonder what I want to do with this is some couch of problem uh, edit video maybe I want to change it into unlisted send a link to someone who would write subtitles let's see how that works uh, visibility unlisted done save okay, now if i give you a link you should be able to access it Let's try that. Uh, there are also auto-generated subtitles and it would be cool to use them but they are not perfect and they in particular they are very bad for formulas. Okay, let's try. Uh, can I open this in incognito mode? Without this timestamp. Yes, I can. Can I hope is this subtitles? Huh. Hmm, I didn't know there is such a thing in YouTube. On a site we can see all the uh, all the text. I will share a link with you. You should see it now. Um, let me close that. Yeah, you, you see it. Why are you moving videos between channels? Uh, I answered that already. The, the streams and random, not very well prepared stuff will be on Erichter too. If you want to watch problem solving streams, then Erichter too is for you. Uh, by the way, this uh, oh. uh, so somebody recommended that extreme download manager installation instruction open terminal <coughs> mm. so this is in downloads XDM sudo bash install. What was my password? Uh, that. XD man. Okay, we have something on uh, this one. Uh, 
and I guess here we are done and it started downloading which is after 13 minutes uh, let's boop, 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 boop. Okay. and it says 3 minutes left so downloading is very fast okay, let's see uh, where is my program <coughs> mm. I can install add-on URL new download. I want one of shorter ones just to test. So I'm interested in that. File watch. That's fine. Mm. X XD download now download complete I don't think it is that movie is unavailable uh, okay I will check it out later by mistake I downloaded HTML file. I will do that later. Mm. Okay. Install the add-on so that you can choose what quality to download. Okay, I will, but it will be after the stream. Oh, I, I will do it later. Mm. Plus, plus, plus to do. Install. How is it called? XDMM? Existing man. Uh, plugin. So thank you for suggestion, and on the next boring stream you will see whether I use it or not. In a moment we'll be done with this website, <coughs> and it's very fast. Like for me, on my computer, I only need three minutes. What is a very good result. 90 seconds left. Mm. I think for the next week I can schedule all three time slots. I have things to do. I, I won't be bored with that. Monday is a bit shorter. Actually can be to 17. Maybe I will be too uh, too tired. Yeah, four, four hours are fine. I think I will... The next week I will try this format. <coughs> mm. Maybe it's a bit hard to remember. One hour every day, th the same time every day would be easier to remember. Uh, on the other hand, this way people from different time zones can watch on different days. For downloading videos, I use YouTube DLCLI. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, the quality is fine. It looks like 1080. Downloads, boring programming stream, uh, and it's in the <coughs> it's indeed 1080, 30 frames per second. Cool. If it works, I think I will use this one. Maybe before that, I will try your suggestions. Uh, so thank you, Ferris and Van Yarner, for suggesting something. Uh, so also try. YouTube DLCLI 
or di dl mm. cool i think in the evening i will run downloading stuff and uh, i don't need to do that during a stream and i think i figured out what to move uh, so short videos at coder and uh, ai and lectures stay and what goes boring programming streams and just problem solving so move boring programming streams and problem solving mm -hmm. but leave short videos at color blah 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 move but why do i leave at coder here in the future will i where do i put problem solving at coder is problem solving but it's very educational uh, educational on the other hand and in the future, if I do something similar to adcoder, apps, uh, to adcoder solving, do I put it in the main channel or the secondary one? And does the difficulty matter? That's a good question. Mm, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Next next week I'm trying this format. So long streams will be Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. By default they will be boring programming streams, and I will do something uh, like that. Maybe I will write old editorials. Maybe I will do something with YouTube. Uh, Okay, one more thing I wanted to do today. Uh, let me save the, the fact that uh, so maybe this uh, so for moving videos. Actually, moving videos is here. Two things. First, I will take a look at code forces to see if I have something to read. Interesting, maybe. Answer. Oh, there was a marathon problem in code forces, and I partially agree with Radeus. He says that this is a very standard problem. Indeed, more than fifty percent of problems, optimization problems, are scheduled moving s somehow around the plane. And he gave examples of similar problems. Indeed, this one, the one in this problem, wa uh, the one in this problem was with some twist. Uh, but still, I also, when I saw the contest, optimization contest coming in Codforces, uh, I thought that I would participate. But after reading it, it looks so similar to other ones. I Though I respect opinion op opinion of uh, I don't know how to read it. Uleita, mm, he's extremely experienced in those contests. He's one of the best in the world. He said he enjoyed the problem, so I believe that it was indeed interesting. Uh, but I think they should invent something else. Mm. I didn't think a lot about the problem, so it will not be beneficial for me to read solutions. Final result, top 25. Leite is third, Rav Bill is also good in those contests. And who is this guy? Andrei Tukaryev. I don't know him, but good for him. Mm. Uh, 
something without simulated annealing. Visualiza visualization of my solution for provided input free in video format. Let's see. We schedule workers around the map and every task requires some number of workers. So you must send multiple workers to the same place when they are together there. They finish the problem, they, they finish the task and they can move to the next one. Uh, plus problems have some um, time constraints. You must finish them in some time slot. That's a cool visualization. my codes let's see how the codes looks like <coughs> they are often very long 1000 lines well 200 uh, 900 if you have f two three weeks to imp to solve a problem as good as possible then the code will be long mm. close 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 then, uh, oh, this is running. Uh, God forces come. Okay, do you, do we have anything else interesting here? I need to answer. I always have eleven new messages, so I've just received a new one. I will read it later. Oh, I, w I know what I need to do. I need to... Mm, <laughs> in PSUT contest, I need to put links to me solving K and, K and F today. So, in PSUT stream, put links to solving K and F with time stamps and i've sent you guys uh, this link do you see an option to s propose subtitles i don't i didn't see it in incognito mode um, so there was oh add translation but i need to log in i don't want to Okay, I can do it from my main account. Uh, add translations. Contribute. Contribute. This doesn't work. Drafts. Go to contribute. It doesn't work. How to propose subtitles? <laughs> How to propose a girl, a boy, a girl? Why do people Google how to propose a girl? How to propose to a girl? In Hindi, in school. <laughs> How to propose to a girl in school? Propose means to ask for being a fiancé, right? Why would you propose in high school? I would, but this is just how to talk. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what I wanted to do now? Yeah, how to add subtitles. Uh, maybe let's do it this way. If you are interested in making subtitles, write to me in Code Forces, please, with private message, uh, and uh, I will get back to you. I will be very, very grateful, and I will happily um, pay a couple of bucks. And so we will figure how to do it, and um, I want not to add subtitles in the future, and instead do another video in the meantime. Okay, I will finish for now. I hear that my girlfriend is coming already from work. 
Mm, and yeah, today in the evening I have that party. Uh, it's called Red Coder Party. So thank you all for watching. Like the video, please share with your friends, subscribe to this second channel and see you on Monday. Bye bye.